get a little bit of video of the um, carburetor assemblies here. See that this is bolted on to the manifold right there, and I believe that's the bolt head that carries all the way through there. And that's attached right there. Those fuel lines just go down to the fuel pump. They're just tied together there. They come across. And this one's just a mirror image. Minus the Oh, you know what? I don't believe that's actually attached right there. I think that's just a butt plate up against the side of the manifold. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. And we're removing the spring from the clamp. Yeah. Took the other side off already. Didn't, it wasn't too hard. I just unscrewed this and then twisted it up and it, it'll release that spring. If I can yeah, get enough pressure off of it, yeah. There we go. And that should just pop out. Right. All right, I'm just gonna do a quick recap of what we're gonna do. Uh, this is basically the first step. We haven't, we've taken the uh, springs off, but that's it. We're going to leave this entire assembly intact for now. All of these uh, fittings, we're just going to leave it intact. What we're going to do is we're going to cut these with a razor knife because these are going to need to be lengthened and new hoses installed whenever we swap the manifolds. And we're also going to go ahead and unscrew the fuel line from the carburetors there to allow the carburetors to come off. So this whole assembly will stay together and just fold down. All right, just uh, broke that fuel line free with a 12 millimeter socket. Just taking a little look at it there before I take it all the way out. All right, we decided that in order to take the carburetor off, all we need to do is loosen the clamp. Yeah, and just pull the mouth out Right, there. between the uh, carburetor and the intake manifold. All right. All right, I just popped the, uh, the plastic clips off of their holders, all four of them. That's all we did right there. And we're attempting to take the ignition module box off of the engine. We've detached the one bracket down here. We take the bolt out of that. And I attempted to take this nut right here off and I swear it broke the bolt off inside of this bushing. We're gonna find out real soon, but I started on I started uh, untightening it and it just kind of gave. So we'll find out. But anyway, it's attached at this point right here. 
to the manifold. So we're going to take the bolts out of the manifold now, this one, and this long one that goes all the way through. Those are your two that hold up here. These are your two that hold on down here. All right, I just uh, unscrewed this Allen bolt here, and it holds this wire bundle in through the ignition modules there. Maybe you ought to make a statement on how you got those plugs apart, too. Yeah. Oh, I got it now. They're easy. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, in case we post it for somebody on Oh, yeah. All right. We got uh, the ignition module completely off. Went ahead and rebolted uh, these back to it. They're not torqued to anything specific. We just put them back on so that we didn't lose them. <laughs> Next, we take off the water reservoir tank and it's four hoses. All we're going to have to do is take these four clips off at the terminating ends and this thing should just pull right off the engine. It's not even bolted solid. It's no, just... it's just sitting there, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got a rubber vibration pad on the back side of it. It gets moved anyway. All right, the manifolds are switched and torqued down to 90 inch pounds each. The carburetors, uh, we kept them on the same sides and just put them back in. Tighten the clamps down on both, and we zip tied the ignition module just up to the engine there, just to get it out of the way. All right. All right. We're uh, reaming out our holes so that we can get our 10 millimeter bolts into the uh, engine mounts and get it attached to the engine temporarily so that we can uh, find the center to mark our hole here. This uh, copper reamer from the uh, gun cleaning kit is actually working really well to take all the paint and uh, powder coating off the inside of this hole so that our 10 millimeter bolt will fit through. And being that it's copper, it's not going to take any of the uh, material off. We were uh, getting ready to attach the other engine bracket temporarily like that so we can mark our center holes, which we got this one marked up. And we found that there was a bolt pre-existing in this top hole, and upon unscrewing it and pulling it out, we realized that it's extremely long, and it's actually a case bolt that runs all the way through and threads into this side of the uh, case. So we have to use that exact same bolt when we, when we reinstall the bracket. Just documenting that.